Hi guys, welcome to this thrift flip-esque video. Um, obviously thrift stores are not open where I'm at right now, so I'm just using things that I already had in my closet. Um, so they're things like the first dress is this dress, which is from Urban Outfitters, which I normally would not pick up at the thrift store and then thrift flip because it is a pretty nice dress, but you know, it's just things I had around already. Um, so yeah, check it out. This is the first dress that we're doing. This one is more of just a resize. And then we have two others um, that are a little bit more in depth also. Um, also a disclaimer, I am not a professional tailor. I am not a professional sewer. I really just do what I can and I make a lot of mistakes. And I go, I do lots of backtracking. A lot of it is just like, I feel like this will work and then sometimes it does. So, okay, wow. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's just a disclaimer. I'm coming from like very little, like just like self-taught knowledge. So um, yeah, if you wanna see that, welcome to the video where you can see that. But yeah, so this is actually an Urban Outfitters dress that I picked up at the thrift store. Um, and it's really cute, I really, really like it. It just doesn't fit me great, as you can see. So it's a wrap dress, and it is like your traditional kind of, has the hole in the side, wraps around. But as you can see, I like, it's so big. Like, <laughs> so I'm going to be taking it in, um, which I'll show, of course. But I'm gonna be taking it in back here and seeing if that works, because honestly, I just don't, like I never wear it because it's too big. And then I'm probably gonna do something with the sleeves too because they just seem kind of big. So I'm thinking that I'll be able to take it in a little bit back here for sure. Um, so that's kind of where I'm starting now and then I might need to adjust this as well. But I think I'm gonna take it in in the back a little bit first and then go from there because this is like a really nice dress and I would probably just sell it, but honestly I'm so bored in quarantine. <laughs> And like, I can't go to the thrift stores and like online thrift stores are still spendy. So I'm not shopping at them a whole lot. So <laughs> that's why I'm doing it with this dress because I have it, I don't wear it, but I like it kind of thing. So I'm gonna just pin roughly the amount that I wanna take it in by, which at first glance looks like about two inches. How taking it in the back worked. Um, let's see, it looks like this from the inside out, so it's got this little flap. Not worried about it right now. But it fits a lot better than it did. Um, so now I need to work on the front, and I kind of played around a bit with it, because I was like, how the hell am I gonna do this? Because like the wrap makes it confusing. But, so, I'm starting with the part that's on the inside wrap, the part that goes into the hole. Um, so I'm not worried about the outside panel yet. So with the inside panel, it already had these pleats here, um, like little breast pleats. So basically, I'm just gonna make one giant pleat that's like way more extreme. So I'm gonna take that in and then basically taper it all the way up. So my plan worked pretty good. So here's the back, I'll show you that. So it looks all right, it's a little chunky because of the extra fabric there, but it looks pretty good so far. Um, and then this is the panel that I just sewed, so the inside panel, right? Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Obviously the gingham's gonna be off um, where it's stitched, but that's just part of making it work. So <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So overall, those worked great. I'm super happy about it. Um, so yeah, this is, I'm not gonna tie it all again because it's honestly such a hassle. But yeah, so this is how the front is looking. It's looking good overall, much better than it was. Much less bulky for sure. Um, so now I'm going to fix this because when I tie it, I still have to tie it pretty tight because it is obviously big on me. Um, so I'm getting this situation. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pin it and put in a little dart there. Perfect, okay. So, yeah, so you can see when it's tied, it does this. So basically, the part that is doing that, I'm gonna just pinch it, and I'm literally just gonna sew that. I love, like, the little weirdness where, like, 
the gingham doesn't match up anymore. I just think that's so fun. Like that is so like my vibe of like a little like deconstructed like moment. Um, but yeah, so this is how it's looking. It's looking really good, honestly. I am kind of shocked like how well this is going right now. Um, but that's fine, we're gonna just live in the moment. Um, main thing I have to do now is the band has this. Um, it's pretty thick and if you can't tell, my sewing machine is really old. <laughs> so I might just have to hand stitch that together so that um, it stays and then get rid of the lumpiness. Looking pretty good. So this is what we got going so far. So everything lays down now. It still has that excess fabric, but I'm gonna do that at the very end. Uh, the sleeves already have this like little detail thing where it's like folded, which is kind of annoying. So I might just like <laughs> cut that and redo it myself. Um, yeah, so it's got this kind of bat wing. It's not like a separated rated sleeve situation. So I think what I'm gonna do is just bring this in like half an inch or so, and then just gonna follow this boop right there. So what I'm gonna do is mark where I want it to stop because I wanna make sure I don't make it too skinny for me. So there's that. And then, yeah, just about half an inch. So like right there. Cool, so now I'm just gonna go in my sewing machine and just do that shape. And then as long as it works out, we'll just do the same thing on the other side. So this is the one I just did, which I think looks a lot better, especially once I cut this extra here out, it's gonna be very comfortable. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And what I was talking about before was the detail in the sleeves is it just has these two little stitches that have it kind of folded. So I just cut those, sewed right through. Um, and I think I might add like another little different thing here, like a little ruche like that maybe, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side first. So here's both sleeves. Looks a lot better. I'm super happy with how they came out. Um, and now I'm kind of deciding if I wanna do a little, I think I do, that's cute, right? Yeah, that's cute. And this is super easy. Um, I'll show you me sewing it, but I'll just hand stitch um, basically just like a little ruche there and just make sure you don't make it too tight is the only thing. Um, yeah, and then we'll check in. So here's the sleeves. I think they turned out super cute. I love them. Everything looks really good, and I think I am gonna keep the length. I think I like that full length because I don't have a ton of dresses with a full length. Um, so yeah, I am super happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm gonna go take my pants off and then I'll go get some cute shots of it so you guys can see it in action. next dress we're gonna do and so this I actually got at Target because I was like it has potential right there so um, the first thing I want to do is this neckline like I don't know what it is that's off I think it's the neckline and the sleeves that make this not quite the dress if I'm tell me if I'm right um, but yeah so basically I'm gonna give it that new or like trendy square neckline. So I'm gonna get rid of all of this. Yeah, I'm gonna just kind of use this square as a guide and we'll just go from there. All right, so first I'm just taking out the slip that's attached to the dress here. And it's just like really loosely cut in by these two little stitches. So I'm just gonna set that aside until the end and then lay out the dress flat and take a look at the neck. So I went ahead and just followed the square like lace pattern on the front of the dress and I just used that as a guide for the square neckline and then I just did the same exact cut um, throughout the back too. So 
So now I'm just doing a really simple hem around the neckline so that I don't have frayed edges and whatnot. So as you can see, I'm just pinning um, all the way up around the shoulder and then through the back. And now I'm just hemming the back as well. So I'm just doing basically the same thing. I'm making just a slight little cut on the end there since it is a square so that I can fold it over. Um, yeah, and then I'm just folding it over like this and then I'm just gonna hem that. Here's how it turned out when we sewed those edges down and then I just sewed down the back as you saw. Um, and then this, I ended up just cutting the fabric that was attached to the lace and that worked fine. Um, so now we have to do something with the sleeves because obviously it doesn't have the neckline to hold it up anymore. So they just fall and the sleeves are pretty ugly. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna cut out this long sleeve and just keep this little ruffle sleeve um, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut out the sleeve completely and then I'm think, debating if I want to add some elastic in that'll hold these up or if I want to add like a tie on the back. Um, but yeah, we'll start out with the sleeves and then go from there. Here are these sleeves and I think they're really cute. So I think I'm just gonna kind of keep them like that. Um, and so I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna add some elastic throughout these. I went ahead and just did one sleeve already to make sure that I knew what I was doing and it actually turned out pretty good. Um, so here's this with the elastic in it, makes it fit a lot better. Um, so I already know what size I need because I just copied this size for elastic. But what I did to find that out is I kind of just used my bra and I took the elastic back to where the end of the dress would be and I stretched it to get there um, to make sure that it is long enough to stretch it so that it actually does its thing and makes cute little ruffles and also folds you up a little bit better. So now I'm gonna do this side and I'll show you that. All right, so here is this after both sleeves are done. I think it turned out super cute. I'm happy with it so far. Um, and now I need to fix. So basically when I stand relaxed because it doesn't have the, like the neck and everything holding it up still, I get this little bubble here. So I'm gonna put it on inside out. And now I'm going to pull this out so I can see, you know, how much space I got and obviously Excuse me. The dress itself is not super fitted, but I do want to get rid of that little bubble. So I'm going to just pinch about, feels like about two inches or so there, just so I know about how much to take it in. Now I'm going to go do Okay, I explained this really bad in the video, but basically I'm adding just a band underneath the bust to add definition. Um, and I'm using the scrap of fabric that was the collar. So as you'll see, here, it's just this little ruffle piece, and so that's what I'm going to be attaching. It's been a few days, and I'm finally back to finish this dress. <laughs> so, in order to add this little band kind of right under my bust, where I pinned um, on the sides here of how long I want it, and I've just taken both sides and pinned them in about like an inch and a half each, and so I'm just going to actually sew two little darts right down to down here. And then I'm gonna add the band, um, of course, on the right side. But yeah, so I'm just gonna do that instead of ruching it all again, because it already has this up here and it was looking kind of funky um, with it like ruched up here and then ruched at the thing. So instead, I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm just gonna sew this, these things here to kind of take away a little bit of that excess. Um, and then I'll come back and show you how I pin on the band. All right, so I went ahead and just did one side so I could show you guys. Um, so this is the side that I sewed. So as you can see, it has this little ruffle here, um, which looks a little bit weird, but I think once I add the band, it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, so this is an idea of what we're gonna be working with here, which I think is really cute. So I hope it turns out so that I can actually wear this. <laughs> um, 
So I'm gonna flip it back inside out and then pin this side so that I can make sure it matches with this. Sew that and then I'll show you guys um, me sewing on the band. Here is this with both sides done. So obviously it fits a lot better. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and add this on. So I'm gonna show you guys me pinning it, gonna sew it, and then we'll check in and see where we're at. So here is the top after I sewed on this bit. And then I'm just gonna take like little dots of fabric glue and just glue it down just so it stays in place. I feel like this dress, I did not expect to take this long to DIY and it is, but that's fine. We're on the home stretch now. So here is how we're looking. It is super cute. Um, only thing is this space here. So what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna just take it in on both sides like that. And hopefully it fits like I am holding it right now and then we'll be good. Also, I got a zit last night, so please don't talk about it. Or if you do, um, don't talk about it to me because I don't wanna hear it. So I'm gonna put it on the inside out. I'm gonna pin the part that I'm gonna take in. We're gonna sew it and we'll be back. So I'm gonna just sew pretty much from where the band is up and then we'll talk. Now we're really on the home stretch because it fits and I'm so stoked. So this is how we are looking. If you wanna get a view, it's looking pretty good. Um, I think it's super cute, super trendy, super with the times, I'm into it. Um, so now I'm gonna steam it because it's super wrinkly. And then I'm gonna put the slip back in, um, make sure that length and everything works out on that. And then I'm just gonna cut up all these loose threads and next, time you see me will be um, cuter. Next dress we're doing it's super cute. Um, it reminds me of Sleeping Beauty. Um, but it's just like, I could wear this for a photo shoot and honestly that was my plan. And then I never got around to it. But I think it has a lot of potential to be like a cute little summer dress. Um, I picked this up from the thrift store for like, I think like $10, probably less. Um, and I mostly got it because it fit me really well. Like especially the top fits really well. And the length is like really nice too. So, the length I haven't decided yet. Um, either I wanna do some kind of slit in it or probably just make it shorter is what I'm leaning towards. Um, and then the top is what I'm really kind of struggling with what I wanna do, because these sleeves are like a little too poofy and I know that that's like the style right now is like bringing back that 80s sleeve, but I'm just, I'm just not really that into it. Um, so I think I'm gonna remove the sleeves and see where we're at, because I do really like the shape of this neckline. Um, I'm just not sure what I want to do with the sleeves yet. So I'm going to start by removing the sleeves, trying it on, and kind of seeing how I feel from there. And then the length I'll probably do last. Um, but yeah, super cute. And it, it was handmade originally too. I'll, you guys will see on the inside when I um, lay it down. But it was originally handmade, so I assume it's probably like a prom dress or something. But it's super cute and I am excited because I want to be able to wear it. So I'm just seam ripping the sleeves out because this was handmade. It was actually super easy to just seam rip them out. So that's really all I did here. Lighting is weird. Doesn't matter. Anyway, so this is the dress after I just took off the sleeves and I kind of like it. Um, with just like no sleeves, I think it's pretty cute. And I think when I change up the length, it'll all tie together. Um, only thing is with the sleeves, I should just move this, is that when the sleeves were on it, it sat more like this, which I feel like this more open neckline looks a little bit too formal. Um, so I would like 
for them to sit more like this, but then I get this situation. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably just add like little darts somewhere in here, um, just so that it lays flat. And then I think the top will be really cute. And then I still haven't stitched up um, where I took off the sleeves, but I'll just do that too. That's super easy. So I'm gonna put it on inside out and then pin it. So after heavy consideration and a lot of pinning and a lot of things that were not gonna work, um, I think, and I'm scared, but I think I'm gonna change the neckline. And I'm worried about this, but I'm gonna give it a go. So I think what I need to do, because I want the straps to sit up here and there's probably, there is probably an easier way to do this, but I don't know how. So I'm gonna do it this way. Um, and I want them to sit up here, but then obviously I get this. They wanna sit more so down here, which isn't that far, but honestly it's like really annoying. <laughs> and it doesn't stay like that anyway on me. So I'm gonna wear the straps where I want them. And I think I'm going to just and like cut out this neckline. So what I'm gonna do, I'm really afraid. I might fuck this up. This video might not go up because I fucked this up, but we'll see. Is I'm going to mark a guideline of where I want to cut. Again, terrified, but I'm gonna just do half um, because I'll just flip it over and reverse it on that half. And let's try it. All right, so here I am just cutting out that square neckline and just cutting through half and then folding it over so that both sides match. And now I'm just going to fold over um, the edges there so that I can hem the neckline. So I gotta say, I'm a little proud of myself because this turned out a lot better than I expected. But basically, I just cut out that square neckline and then hemmed it, obviously. Um, I think it looks really good. <laughs> so I do still have a little bit of that kind of pucker. I think how I'm gonna solve that is I'm just gonna take it in kind of right where it needs to be because I have such a small bust. Um, I think if I just take it in right there, it'll just be a little bit tighter and lay flatter. Um, but first I'm going to just make the straps a little bit skinnier. So I'm going to take in the inside part about that much here. And I'm just going to pin that. And then same here. And I actually really am satisfied with how the square neckline turned out because We've seen the square neckline be like a huge trend for this summer too, so I am really stoked. And I think it actually looks really cool with the kind of like princess um, thing here. It'd be a really cute top too, but I don't think I'm ready to sacrifice the, the dress portion. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go into my sewing machine and sew from the top seam here and then down here, just to make them a little bit skinnier and then we'll do the outsides. All right, so I'm super happy with the neckline and the sleeve so far. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and hem the sleeves. They already have like where they were hemmed basically. So I, I'm just gonna be easy and follow that because um, that seems ideal. So yeah, I'm gonna just pretty much tuck it in and follow exactly where they were sewed uh, previously and then we'll check in again. So apologies again, the lighting has definitely changed, but um, I did the sleeves, just sewed them like normal, they're looking good. So now I'm gonna do what my plan was to take in these back seams just a little bit. Um, this is a little extra tricky for myself because uh, I have to put it on inside out to pin it, but I can't zip it up inside out because I live alone and I, I'm not that flexible. So we're just gonna do what we can here. <laughs> but 
Um, it has princess seams in the back as well. So I'm just gonna go right along those seams and just take in like half an inch from each. And I think that that will hopefully make it fit a lot better. So I'm going to basically pinch these, pin it. I'm gonna try it on before I sew. And then um, if it works out, we'll sew. My lighting's a little better over here. <laughs> so I haven't sewed yet, but I pinned on the inside so you can see it just followed the seam. Okay, so this is where we're at after sewing. And exactly what I thought was gonna happen happened a little bit, but it's fine, it's fixable. Um, it is a little too tight right in here. Like I can like, I'm scared to let out because I'm gonna bust a seam. Um, so I'm going to pin where it's too tight. Um, and then I might just need to let out one of the seams just a tip. I didn't believe in myself, but I didn't think it would go this good. <laughs> so I actually just let out the seam that I did from that point that I marked and then down. And like, there's like a little lip, but like, I'm not even that worried about it. Um, honestly, it fits so good. Like, I know that it won't forever, but right now it's so good. <laughs> so now I'm thinking about the length because I do want to be able to wear this and it is a little bit too long, um, which makes it look obviously formal. Um, so I want it to be a little bit more casual. So I'm going to take off my pants so I can get like an actual good idea of where I want it and then we'll look at some options, go from there. They're right at my knees, and that way, like, it can be one of those dresses I can just wear all the time, and I don't have to, like, worry about it, and it's just easy, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take it off, we're gonna mark it, and then take it off, and then we'll get to cutting and hemming. So here is where I'm at. I'll show you the length. There'll be a better shot um, in full, but here's where I'm at. I am honestly super, super stoked about this. I did not from the beginning think that it would turn out this good. <laughs> and yeah, it's super cute. Um, all I did, as you saw, I was cutting the hem and then I just folded it over and gave it a really simple hem because I'm not the best at it. Um, but yeah, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press out the seam thing I'm gonna do is use this little fabric glue. It's called Fabric Fusion. There's a whole bunch of different kinds you can get, but I've used this one for a few years and I really like it. So I am going to put this around all the seams, especially the bottom hem, uh, just so that it stays intact and it doesn't fray because I've cut a lot of loose threads off of this fabric already. And as you can see, it's already easily doing it. So I'm gonna press everything with an iron, let it cool, cut off all the excess that's hanging right now, put this glue around the seams, and then let it be until tomorrow. 